B is asking uh, if you're upset about the Exorcist news. David Gordon Green is not directing Exorcist Deceiver. What a surprise. My biggest thing is I just want to know the backstory. Did they let him go? Did he just like resign because he's like, oh, nobody liked it. So I'm just going to quit. And if that's the case, like that's what pisses me off. It's like everything else in this world. It's like something doesn't go your way. We just going to quit. We're just going to be like, ah, oh, well, I, I can't do any better. So it is what it is like. No, no, no. You promised three movies. You need you should be doing three movies. You have two more chances to like wrong the right. And you're just going to give up like that's what pisses me off. And that's like one of those things. If that's the kind of guy he is, then like I don't want to watch any of his movies anymore. Like who does that? I don't care if it's good or bad. It's like it doesn't matter if him. you if you yeah. have a story to tell. Fucking tell it, man. Don't like give up. Like, oh, they didn't like it. So I'm just going to quit. Like, that's bullshit, dude. Like, I kind of I'm agree so with tired that. of a, like babies type, yeah. and shit like that. Like, whining about stuff where it's not fair. Like, freaking finish a story, man. Make it better. Like, work harder. We're we just going to throw our hands up and be like, I'll do something else. Like, no, no. If it's not going your way, like, work your ass off and freaking make something that people are going to like. If the, if they didn't want him anymore, fine. But I also think, Love it or hate it, this story needs to have an ending. You can't end it here and then just like move on to something different when it comes to Exodus and, and Believer just kind of stands off by itself. That's so stupid. If they're going to hire a new director and finish this story, then that's fine. Like, go do that. Find someone else and finish this story and let Linda Blair come back and do her thing. Love it or hate it or not. It's just to have an Exodus Believer just sit there as like a one off. That makes no sense. Is you so know that's dumb. what's going to happen. Too. What's like, so gonna... stupid? What like, so what's is the... there to finish though? Uh, I mean, whatever the whatever well, the plan was. Like, what I mean? Yeah, what are they going to say? The like, end... hey, tell me, tell me the story of the Exorcist. Like, what's that franchise about? Well, a girl gets possessed. The mother hires, you know, a, a, a priest to exorcise his her daughter, and the the demon comes back fifty years later, and then the mother of that daughter uh, and her daughter don't talk for fifty years, and then this other girl's the demon blinds the mother and then the, the 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 daughter comes back at the end to like see if she's okay the oh. end like it's so stupid it's dumb like so, that's Garrett, what, so it pisses me off because it's like that's that's how we're going to end this franchise mom goes blind 50 years later daughter comes yes. back to no, but i mean okay. the okay. end like that's stupid. it yeah just bait yeah. out go on to the next <laughs> it's so it's dumb like, like yeah, i want it finished i don't care if it's if it sucks like give us a freaking ending to this and then and then tie a bow on it and say see you later but you know to just cut it off after you promise hey we're doing three movies then shut your mouth and don't say we're doing three movies if we're not going to get three movies that's kind of like my issue with it it's like I just I'm so tired of people just what because something's hard. We're just going to give up now and we're just going to quit. Like, it's just everything now. It's just everybody's a bunch of babies. It's like we need to play and work harder, work harder, play mix speech. Mm. Rocky. <laughs> I swear to God, that's what I was getting ready to say. So but I, was I like, mean, so like Garrett that's basically my... wants it to be like, get up, you son of a bitch. Basically, but I feel like that's just, that's just the world we live. Like everybody just wants to woe is me. It's not my fault. And like quit like come on what happened to like i'm you know gonna what prove you gotta people do, wrong man. and shit like that's so ridiculous you know what and they said do. what he's gonna go work on a movie called nutcracker like give me a yeah. break dude that's like what it's, uh... you shouldn't have took it on in the first place if you didn't think you could handle it man you know what i mean like you have two more chances to make it better what you're just gonna be like i can't do it like come on <laughs> it's, it's not as easy as the halloween movie it's stupid it's just dumb it's like don't commit if you're just gonna like if it doesn't go the way you want just like walk away with your tail between your like I don't so know if it was that or the fact that Warner Brothers, you know, their asshole puckered because they didn't make nearly the amount of money they thought they were going to make. They could have. Movie. And at the same time, then fine, fire David Gordon Green, but bring someone else in to finish whatever story this was going to tell. Because, you know, to end it this way, it's like, why bring back, bring back legacy you know characters? Thinking, like, man, dumb, dumb. I don't care who does it. Just, just let's get Linda Blair on the on the in the on the screen and and finish this damn story. Like Cody Rhodes said, finish the story, man. You gotta punch think, that back uh, till it hurts, kid. Till it hurts. <laughs> I think Rob Zombie's Exorcist would make a, a ton of money. It fucking he would, could, sadly. Dude, he could I recast really Linda Blair and no, put Sherry really. in the. Bring Linda Blair. Yeah, right. I'd, I'd get Rob Zombie to do it. Let's just no. finish this damn thing and move on. Let's not just leave one movie out of a of out of a trilogy that they never finished and just leave it there and 
go on and do other things. Like it's so it's just dumb. And then they're gonna be like, what? Oh, just uh forget about that one. Like I hate that. That's exactly what they're gonna. It's I so will, but you why mark my words though, Greg, uh, and you know what you're probably you'll right, but it's hear like anything else about that movie again. But well, what a big freaking single. waste of time when you could go back and try to write a little bit of the wrong and like like they said they have three movies, then make the other two better. Like, why just like mm-hmm. walk away from something that you brought these characters back for and be like, it's the next big thing. Oh, whoops, no, it isn't. It doesn't count. Like, stupid. It's just there's so many people, it's like, look what I'm gonna do, we're gonna do this, and then they don't do it, and it's like don't announce three movies before the first one's done. How's that sound? And then we can figure out what we're going to do. But instead, they had to open their mouths and be like, we're going to do a three-picture trilogy. And, and then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, no, forget it. Uh, it didn't do as good, so we're just going to not. Don't. It's, that's, the, that's the part that pisses me off is it's like this broken promises. Everybody's everybody's mouth, uh, you know, eyes are bigger than their stomach shit. That's that's what pisses me off is that. That's exactly I don't care I mean. if Exodus Believer was good or bad. It's like. A little Finish forethought probably would have gone a long way with that. Thing too. Like, the Exorcist <laughs> is not a fucking like, right. I mean, I hate to say we would quote some Bobby the Brain Heenan here. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so, boys, because sure. the Exorcist franchise, aside from the very first movie that made an insane, ungodly amount of money for not only a horror movie but for any movie in nineteen seventy three when it came out. The Exorcist franchise has never done that well in in the theaters. Now, Believer, I mean, for uh, for an average movie, I guess it would have done okay. But you you got to think they have four hundred and thirty million dollars invested mm-hmm. in that movie and the and the two future movies. So Blumhouse is dumb house. Well, just like I said before, that's a that's a stupid. I don't know where they get all their money from, but Jesus Christ, four hundred and thirty million dollars. Well, you know for a movie. fact it's either they finish this one or they're going to just make a different Exorcist one and and like I like we said and pretend this one didn't exist. But I mean, in reality, just bring back the main two characters um, or the four of the main characters from this one and do whatever the hell you want with them. There's nothing set in stone like it has to go this way. Change directions, but like keep this going so we can figure out you know how this thing is going to end instead of just avoiding it and then going off and doing something different this one just lays there to rot forever and again i see people in the chat like well it shouldn't have been made in the first place well it's too late now it's too late for that to go back it was a dumb move from the get-go sure just for the fact that they had to throw down that kind of cash to do i mean it was just you know it's untested waters the exorcist franchise for sure unlike halloween which is guaranteed to make money. It's guaranteed. It's a you know, it's a money making factory. Uh, May like a cotton company and all them guys got because not only is it going to make a shit ton of money in the theaters, release it in October. They know the formula and everything, but it's continuously. It's what they call like evergreen, right? It's always mm-hmm. going to make money. They're going to make mm-hmm. money digitally on it. They're going to make money on the physical media and everything. Exorcist, not so much. Boss. Well, they should figure that out. I mean, with Michael Myers, I mean, what is it? You can kind of create different stories. The Exorcist, well, you have to have somebody the- somebody possessed, right? Like, what other direction are you going to take? So already off the bat, you know it's kind of a risky thing to do, but everybody was like, I can do it. And then what? They, they're going to be like, oh, no, I didn't make the money. I'm going to, you know why? Because I think sometimes they're focused on checking like 10 boxes before they focus on the damn story of the movie. Right. And it doesn't help it any. And I just think that well, this whole, thing well, about that's, that's hollywood nowadays though. people They've giving got... up on things and breaking these big promises and stuff it just makes me feel that like like who, who are people anymore like they're just gonna like everybody's Holy a big shit. shot it's going down a fucking it. existential rabbit hole it's just, life it's just over this annoying, movie. man it's like everywhere right. like for instance we see it all the time tony khan like dude instead of oh god and here it comes. And bitching every freaking day about things why don't you go make your product better so people want to watch it? Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. And again, that has to do with people freaking everywhere in life. Like, what are you going to do? Something gets a little bit hard, so we're just going to like like scurry away. Like, no, like, why don't you overcome those obstacles? And we just live in a world now where everybody's just so amped to like, oh, I'll just give up. And, uh, you know, well, who, how are we going to find success that way? So it's just like a comp, it's just a, a compilation of like everything we see. It's just up oh, here we go again. And now we've got this movie that's just going to sit there forever and dormant. Like, like, Oh, let's just pretend. No, we're not going to pretend it didn't happen. It's like, it's just another stupid thing 
that they want to focus on. So hopefully they get a new director and hopefully they just continue the story and end the damn thing. Between David Gordon Green and Tony Khan, it's been a, a week of just shaking my head and and um how these people of power or whatever are just this is Gary this is true. Randy Harlan had his chance, man. No. Let let me hang on a second here. Let me find uh you know Randy Harlan. I mean, in reality, though, this is probably the third best Exorcist movie we have. So it is what it is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett's pop on promo. <laughs> yep. David Gordon Green. Ooh. I'm gonna go do the Nutcracker and said, "What the hell? Get out of here! Don't that don't oh, don't you know? Be a big shot. Be like, I'm taking on the Exorcist three movies. Like, I tell you, a big problem with uh, Dumb House though is. The biggest problem for them is that that Halloween series was so successful because mm -hmm. they can't get out of that. Like they just keep trying to reuse that same formula, the same like way of making those mo like any movie. Now they try to use that Halloween formula and interject like just a different franchise or different characters into it. And it just doesn't fucking work, man. You're right. Like it was, it was a stupid thing from the beginning for them to take on the Exodus. They could have taken on anything else and it probably would have done, but they could have taken, you know, anything. Well, maybe not Elm street, but a lot of other they things just... could have easily been done. And, but at the same time, like Blumhouse is just so hot and cold. Like this night swim is, looks like it's like one of the worst movies ever made. Right. Like mm -hmm. I didn't end up going to see it, but I've literally like heard one person say it was halfway decent and everybody else is like completely shitting on this thing. And this was something that they dumped all this money into. So I, who knows what they're doing? Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. Do I don't want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. Let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that. No, don't you yeah. dare touch it. Thumbs up. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're gonna love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only $1. We ain't